Hello, I am back again for another game maker tutorial. But today we are doing something uh, a little different. So I got a request uh, asking how to do sort of a Zelda styled health system. You don't know what that is. It's basically like uh, you start off with three hearts. When you lose health, uh, your third heart loses basically half of its health. And then you. you you know, whenever you get to zero hearts, you die. And I just realized they actually changed this. This used to be called something else. Uh, so yeah, I'm in the new version of Game Maker. <coughs> and <coughs> anyways, so here's our current health system. And it's, it's pretty good, but some people may not want this because uh, they might want to do the Zelda heart system as the person requested it is. So here's our health system, and whenever we get attacked, we would lose health, and that's what it would look like until we would die, and then obviously it means we're up to zero. So if we go into our OBJ HUD and go to the draw event, this is our our stuff, our, our health thing. So we're going to comment this out so it doesn't interrupt us. And I think that should do it. And I'm going to go and show you what I did for the health. So, oh, the SPR underscore health. Edit sprite. And here's what it looks like. Uh, so basically, this is what it would look like if we have max health. If we get hit once, that's what it looked like. And obviously, all the way up to zero. So uh, this sprite is not censored. And I'll go ahead and show you why in a second. So if you go to our draw event, actually let's go to create. Uh, we're going to be using the same. We're going to be basically using this, except we're going to make it. Uh, let's just call it global. Dot. Uh, health. Equals, and. All right, so we have six hearts. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. If you don't want to do the halves, you can just put three in and take the halves out. But I'm doing that because that's what the Zelda styled heart system uh, is. So I guess our our health would be six, and then our draw event. Actually, we we would have, you could apply the health if you wanted to. I would recommend doing it, but I'm gonna see how it, it works out here. So draw underscore sprites, and then here we would do spr underscore health comma. Or now our sub image would be six, because if we start off with max health, then uh, then this is what our health will look like. But this, the whole sub image thing, isn't gonna work because if we do lose health, it's still gonna be set to six. So in our create event, let's just do uh, let's just say hearts hearts equals six and then our draw event instead of six we just put uh, hearts yeah that should work and then comma and then for the rx value we do room underscore width Plus, no, sorry, no, that's not the one we want. We want view underscore x view. Mm. Yeah, and then we would do plus. Now let's see. Let's see what our room, our view is, because. For most Zelda-styled uh, heart systems, 
the all right let me turn off this grid and go to our views all right so if this was our screen actually let me just run the game and I'll, I'll show you if it's a lot better uh, let me just comment this out for now <coughs> excuse me all right so for most Zelda styled hard systems uh, the hearts are usually down here and there's our player attacking so it's it's usually down here in the uh, bottom left corner of our screen so that's what we're going to try and do so our view if we go to this views our view is uh, our height is 240 so 240 minus minus 16 because that's the height of our the of this the 240 minus 16 I'm, I'm just gonna get this just to make it a lot better 240 minus 16 is 240 224 let's do a minus four border or a, a four border four so draw I mean uncomment this so x u plus 220 And then for our y, we do view underscore y view plus, and our border was four, so four, and this should work. Okay, I got these. I got these values mixed up. This should be four, and this should be two twenty. Sorry about that. Now if we run our game. It should work. Hopefully, it does. Yep. Okay, so that's that's just the layout now. Now we're actually gonna make it uh do something. So let's just comment this out as well, and then global global dot hearts or health global dot health global dot health minus minus equals one now what you, you could do is uh, actually we might as well just do it because there's actually no use for that, the global.health. Uh, we can just use this variable, but we would have to set it to a global variable. So, global. If we do not set it to a global variable, then whenever we get attacked, uh, it'll basically do nothing and we'll still have max health. So, in our space event, we should do global.hearts. Hearts. I think that's how you spell it. I don't know. Minus equals one. Let me make sure. Yep. All right. I probably I probably butchered the word hearts, but whatever. It's this game dev. All right. So as you can see, we have max health, and this is probably gonna go very quickly. Yeah. So then. <laughs> All right. That's pretty funny. Um. So. Because this, we're doing, uh, we're changing the image index. Uh, well, basically, once we go to negative one, and in, in the negatives, we're gonna be essentially just going uh, like looping the the picture back and forth as a sprite. So we want to add a step event, preferably. Well, it doesn't really matter which one. And add a piece of code. If global dot hearts is is less than or equal to zero, actually is less than zero, then 
then global dot parts equals zero. And this uh, is saying is checking if uh, our global dot hearts variable is less than zero, which it most likely will be if we we're getting attacked constantly, then it'll change it back to zero and we won't get that little glitch where uh, the sprite keeps looping in, in its so as you can see, we're still at zero and if you do get a glitch where it keeps like flickering the last heart, I think, uh, try try changing the this step event using the change thing to the end step because that's apparently where all the draw events happen. So I hope this helped. If it didn't, uh, please please uh, leave a comment and below and tell me what the problem is, and I'll try and I'll see about what I can do. So thank you for whoever requested this, and his name is Kickbutt, if I can remember. Uh, it's a pretty funny name. So thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.